Even when you feel low, you can still go. Even when you feel slow, you can still go. Even तो चलो स्टार्ट करते हैं Hey guys, welcome back. So today is the eighth video of Android is full stack series. So today we are going to discuss what are the type of delegates. Because interviewer is not going to ask you only about the delegates. Uh, in most of the cases, they will ask you about the type of delegates as well. So we are going to discuss three kind of delegates: uh, func delegate, or we can call it a generic delegate as well. The second one is uh, action delegate, and third one is predicate delegate. Okay. So before we proceed, uh, let me inform you that uh, our aim is to build this hundred days of full stack series video in short form only. But there are some interview questions, or you can say the video, which are really difficult to cover within one minute. Okay, so that's the reason I'm trying to make those video in uh, longer format. Okay, but that's for your benefits only because I do not want to tell you just the theoretical difference. Okay, so the first kind of delegate we are going to discuss is called generic slash punk delegate. Okay. So here you will be starting with a func keyword. You will be writing your input type and output type. So let's say I want to get the area of circle. Okay. So for that I will be passing the radius and I will be getting the area of circle. You can uh, give the input as integer, comma, and output I can a story double. Okay. So let's define the output in double, and then let's call this uh, function as uh, area. Okay. And then is equal to, and then you will be passing the input parameter. So let's pass the variable for input parameter, and that is r. And then you will be using the lambda operator, and then you will be writing the formula for it. So the formula is three point one four formula or logic, whatever you say. Okay, and then into r into r. Okay, so basically it's three point one four r square or pi r square, whatever. And then let's uh, check out the output. So let's say where area of a circle is equal to. You need to use this and write area, and then you can pass seven. Okay. So you can get the area here, right? So let me just run and show you what exactly you are getting. So you'll be getting close to 154. So if you see area of circle, you are getting as 153 something, right? So that's fine. Let's come to the second type of delegate that is called uh, action delegate. Okay. So here, if you do not bother about getting the return type of a method, you just simply want to uh, display something. You are passing something and you want to display something, right, on the console. And in that case, you can use the action delegate. Okay. So let's say, so you'll be starting with, so you'll be using the keyword action and then Within bracket, you will be passing the input parameter. So let's say I want to display my name. So I'll be passing a string. Okay. Close bracket. Let's name this delegate as print names. Okay. Is equal to let's pass the uh, parameter. So names or probably name, and then lambda function. And we want to display the name, right? And we simply want to display the name, right? So we'll be writing console dot write line name. Okay. And now. You want to display something here, so you have to do one thing. You have to take this delegate and you have to pass the variable. So let's say I want to display Pankaj. So once you run it, you will be seeing Pankaj on the console. Let me show you as well. So if you go to the console, see it is displaying Pankaj. Now coming to the third type of delegate that is called predicate delegate. So this one is used when you want to check some condition. So when you are worried about true or false condition, in that case you can use predicate delegate. Okay. So for an example, let's say I want to create a delegate which will return me true or false based on the length of a string. Okay. So let me show you how you can do it. So let's use the predicate keyword, and then you will be passing the type. So I want to pass the string right to check the length. So this, let's let's name the uh, delegate as a uh, check length. Okay. You will be passing the name, and uh, what you want to do this is, you want to check the length, right? So you will be checking name dot length greater than. Let's say I want to check whether the string I am passing having length greater than four or not. So let's check for the truth condition first. So where truth condition? Okay. So here I am going to use this delegate check length, and then I can pass punga. Okay. So this should return me true because uh, length is greater than four, okay. But in the second condition, I want to show you for the false condition as well, okay. So let's say false condition. So here I'm going to pass some string which is having the length lesser than four, okay. So let's say I want to pass Goa. So if you run it, this will give you true because uh, this satisfy this condition and this will give you false, okay. So if you see, this is giving you true and uh, this is giving you false, okay. So that's pretty much, guys. If you explain all these things uh, to the interviewer, it will be more than enough. Okay. So we'll meet up in the next video. Till then, bye bye. Take care.